We are just over two months out from the Devon vs Levon match, and Devon is continuing to do his steady progressive overload for this match, but as we know, Levon suffered a wrist injury last year, and he said that he is healthy and progressing as well, but we haven't seen near as much footage of Levon lifting in a way that would indicate where his current level is in terms of his wrist flexion. So we're going to be somewhat guessing as to how strong his wrist currently is, but in Gabriel Young's last video, he interviewed Devon and asked him about Levon's injury. Here's what he said. I'm sure he will be just fine. I'm sure he will be the strongest. I won't be surprised if he's the strongest he's ever been. That will, it'll surprise me if he's not. So that honestly surprised me quite a bit. Devin seems to think that Levon is going to be even stronger than he was the last time they arm wrestled. Now it is entirely possible that this is just the mindset Devin has decided he needs to have in order to face Levon. So maybe Devin doesn't actually think this, but he just wants to make sure he's not underestimating him. But assuming that Devin does in fact think Levon will be stronger than the last time around, this would surprise me. As we know, the last time Levon pulled Devin, he managed to get all the way up to a 100 kilogram wrist Girl. And this is an amazing lift, and it proved to be very effective in the match. But after this, when Levon pulled Ermes, it already seemed like his wrist wasn't quite as strong as it was before. At that point in time, he was struggling to wrist curl 90 kilograms. And of course, you would assume that after his wrist injury, his max wrist curl would have only gotten weaker beyond that. And he's only been healthy for a little while now. So to me, the idea that he's not only going to get back to his peak level of the 100 kilogram wrist curl, but surpass that after nearly a year long break from hard training seems pretty unlikely, but let's be honest, if anyone can do it, it's Levon. And if Levon somehow does surpass his peak level, Devin might just have no chance in this match. Devin has talked about how his measurable lifetime peak was for his match against Dennis. And now he's just hoping to be around 3 to 5% stronger than he was against Dennis. So maybe Devin can end up being 10% stronger than he was the last time he faced Levon if everything goes absolutely perfectly for him. But if Levon himself ends up getting 10% stronger at the same time, Devin is likely going to get totally steamrolled again. But when you compare the rate of progression there, I don't think that's going to be what happens. I think it's pretty safe to assume that Devin has closed the gap between him and Levon at least a little bit. Devin has been going hard this entire time, and Levon has been in rehab mode for the majority of it. But to be clear, I definitely am hoping that Levon isn't way weaker than he was in the past. What I'm hoping for in this match is that the best possible circumstances line up to make this the greatest match of all time. I'm hoping that Levon matches his peak form from the past, and that Devin is slightly stronger than his peak form from the past. I think this is the exact recipe we need for an all-out war of a match to be possible. Both athletes being healthy, both athletes being strong, Levon with an edge on power, and Devin with an edge on endurance. But if Levon is too strong, it's just going to be a slaughterhouse. Let me know what you guys think about Devin's take here, but I'm honestly hoping it ends up being wrong. This match is going to be pretty awesome regardless of the outcome, but if I could pick, I would much rather see a long drawn out battle where both guys are forced out of their comfort zone and have to adapt on the fly. And I'm guessing that most all of you will agree with me here, only two months out from what just might turn out to be the greatest match in history.